Hey, so we just finished our Million Dollar Club session. Tonight's title was How to Make Changes That Stick. We all know what it feels like to uh, experience the frustration of wanting to make a significant change in our lives for the better. But no matter how many times we try, uh, we're consistent maybe for a couple of days, maybe a couple of weeks, but not long enough for it to really stick and for, for us to become that new change and to experience the results and the freedoms and the benefits of those change of those changes. And so uh, tonight was awesome. It was based on Atomic Habits by James Clear. And so we just want to share some of our takeaways real quick. My main takeaway was basically this, where most people get it wrong when it comes to making sustainable changes in their lives is that they are basing that they're focusing on what they need to achieve. They're focusing on the outcome. And in his book, James Clear, um, he, he, he contrasts the difference between outcome-based habits and identity-based habits. And he says, essentially, um, what successful people are getting right in, in terms of making the right changes is that they are focusing, they are approaching uh, the changes that they want to make uh, from an identity perspective. All right. So they ask the question to make it super practical. They ask the question, instead of what, what is it that I need to achieve, they ask, who do I need to become? What person do I need to become that has already achieved this goal so that I can achieve this goal, if that makes sense? And so that's my takeaway. Uh, the two steps that he says, um, uh, he writes here, I think it's uh, over here. He says the two-step process for, for, for changing your identity. Step one, decide the type of person that you want to be. And secondly, prove, prove it to yourself with, with your actions, the actions that you take. And so, yeah, that's it for me. What were your takeaways? I love that. And just to kind of summarize what Warren has said here, um, really having this mindset of I am above I want. So mm. forget about what you want. Forget about what you what goals you have, but rather think about who you are or rather who you want to be. And uh, yeah, that again links with um, functioning intrinsically from that, that sense of part of that model. Um, for me, what really stood out in today's session was realizing that every single action I take, it's like I'm voting. I'm either mm. voting for my best self or voting for my worst self. So I, I just realized, hey, I want to make sure that every single action I take is good action. It's action that's going to vote for my best self. Mm. I just think this is super powerful and practical. Just remember, whatever you do. Whatever activity you engage in, you are voting. What are you voting for? Ooh, love that. We'll leave that there. See you tomorrow.